Alma chapter 22. Aaron teaches Lamoni's father about the creation, the fall of Adam, and the plan of redemption through Christ. The king and all his household are converted. How the land was divided between the Nephites and the Lamanites. Now, as Ammon was thus teaching the people of Lamoni continually, we will return to the account of Aaron and his brethren. For after he departed from the land of Midoni, he was led by the Spirit to the land of Nephi, even to the house of the king, which was over all the land, save it were the land of Ishmael. And he was the father of Lamoni. And it came to pass that he went in unto him, into the king's palace, with his brethren, and bowed himself before the king, and said unto him, Behold, O king, we are the brethren of Ammon, whom thou hast delivered out of prison. And now, O king, if thou wilt spare our lives, we will be thy servants. And the king said unto them, Arise, for I will grant unto you your lives, and I will not suffer that ye shall be my servants. But I will insist that ye shall administer unto me. For I have been somewhat troubled in mind because of the generosity and the greatness of the words of thy brother Ammon. And I desire to know the cause why he has not come out of Midoni with thee. And Aaron said unto the king, Behold, the Spirit of the Lord has called him another way. He has gone to the land of Ishmael to teach the people of Lamoni. Now the king said unto them, What is this that ye have said concerning the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, this is the thing which doth trouble me. And also, what is this that Ammon said? If ye will repent, he shall be saved, and if he will not repent, he shall be cast off at the last day. And Aaron answered him, and said unto him, Believest thou that there is a God? And the king said, I know that the Amalekites say that there is a God, and I have granted unto them that they should build sanctuaries, that they may assemble themselves together to worship him. And if now thou sayest there is a God, behold, I will believe. And now when Aaron heard this, his heart began to rejoice, and he said, Behold, assuredly as thou livest, O king, there is a God. And the king said, Is God that great spirit that brought our fathers out of the land of Jerusalem? And Aaron said unto him, Yea, he is that great spirit, and he created all things, both in heaven and in earth. Believest thou this? And he said, Yea, I believe that the Great Spirit created all things, and I desire that ye should tell me concerning all these things, and I will believe thy words. And it came to pass that when Aaron saw that the king would believe his words, he began, from the creation of Adam, reading the scriptures unto the king, how God created man after his own image, and that God gave him commandments, and that because of transgression man had fallen. And Aaron did expound unto him the scriptures from the creation of Adam, laying the fall of man before him, and their carnal state, and also the plan of redemption, which was prepared from the foundation of the world, through Christ, for all whosoever would believe on his name. And since man had fallen, he could not merit anything of himself, but the sufferings and death of Christ atoned for their sins, through faith and repentance and so forth and that he breaketh the bands of death, that the grave shall have no victory, and that the sting of death should be swallowed up in the hopes of glory. And Aaron did expound all these things unto the king. And it came to pass, that after Aaron had expounded these things unto him, the king said, What shall I do, that I may have this eternal life of which thou hast spoken? Yea, what shall I do that I may be born of God, having this wicked spirit rooted out of my breast, and receive his spirit, that I may be filled with joy, that I may not be cast off at the last day? Behold, said he, I will give up all that I possess. Yea, I will forsake my kingdom, that I may receive this great joy. But Aaron said unto him, if thou desirest this thing, if thou wilt bow down before God, yea, if thou wilt repent of all thy sins, and wilt bow down before God, 
and call on his name in faith, believing that ye shall receive, then shalt thou receive the hope which thou desirest. And it came to pass that when Aaron had said these words, the king did bow down before the Lord upon his knees. Yea, even he did prostrate himself upon the earth, and cried mightily, saying, O oh God, Aaron hath told me that there is a God. And if there is a God, and if thou art God, wilt thou make thyself known unto me? And I will give away all my sins to know thee, and that I may be raised from the dead, and be saved at the last day. And now when the king had said these words, he was struck as if he were dead.